How should you be positioning your portfolio in 2019? We have with us in the studio today, Will Ryan, CEO of Granite Shares. Will, welcome back. Thank you. So we're talking growth, monetary policy, and a dollar with you today. Do you think we can expect much change here on these three fronts? Well, I think we could have quite a significant change if there's a rate rise in December. I think that really increases the likelihood of a stock market sell-off, particularly coming into next year. So we've already got a strong dollar, as you know, at the moment. Um, I think that a increase in rates at this level, it's difficult to see how much further the dollar can go from here. So any kind of further disruption to the economy, which is already showing some signs of weakness, I think is bad for equities. And what's your feeling on that, Will? You know, which way do you think the Fed will head here? I think that there's, you know, 10 or so rate rates, rate hikes that have already been priced into the market out of the 12 that have kind of been indicated by the Fed. Right. So chances are that December, um, they still will raise rates. Um, I think that we'll need to see probably some, some bigger signs of, of economic weakness at this stage um, for them to pause. But I think the, the, the chances are that there'll be another rate rise but I'm not sure that that's going to be good for, for equities. Well, on the equities front, do we expect more volatility here? I, I think certainly that you know, the VIX is starting to increase again, which is the obviously the level of or measure of volatility in the market. Right. And so that's come off of its um, you know, lows. And I think that we can see some more volatility, especially going into next year. I think one of the most common questions I get, Will, is when we see this volatility on U.S. equities, why does gold not react? I think it would be helpful to a lot of viewers if you could explain that in a nutshell. Of, you know, why can't gold just rally here when U.S. equities are suffering? Well, I guess the simplest way to try and explain that is that gold is not correlated to equities. Gold is actually negatively correlated to the dollar. And so really what happens in a stock market sell-off is the equity market declines, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the dollar also declines. And in many cases, what's happening is when the stock market sells off, people are going to haven assets such as the dollar, such as gold. So the immediate kind of reaction is typically the dollar goes up, which is actually bad for gold. What happens then afterwards is when people start to reallocate assets, then start to buy gold as well as dollars, that's when you get the bid on gold as well as the stronger dollar. So let's get your gold forecast now for 2019. Uh, what are you uh, seeing in sight here? I think gold is going to have a good year in 2019. I think that this year is difficult to really see how gold prices can go down materially from here. We have such a strong dollar. You know, looking back at previous years when we've had you know a dollar high um, and gold obviously at its low point. The moment the dollar starts to come down, we've had gold going back up. And again, going back to when the dollar was this strong, I think you know, a couple of years ago, we had a gold price that was over 1300 So I think gold definitely has some room to move upwards from here. And 2019, if we see some weakness in the market, a bit of slowdown and growth could be very good for gold. Finally, in the precious metals context, yeah. do you think it's the metal that's best positioned to rally? I think in terms of a, a weaker dollar and general sort of economic weakness, I think the gold uh, certainly is probably the best position for that because it doesn't have that industrial link that, that some right. of the other metals have. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for joining us on this outlook. Great. Thank you so much.